What is going on guys, it's Wav here, welcome back to some more Blightfall now, last time we left off, we actually did quite a lot of missions, and we found this iceberg that has like some satanic ritual going on there, I have no idea what's going on there, either way, it looks like some of our silverwood trees have actually, have actually grown now, uh, that one hasn't grown, but this one, no, that's, that's the one that we've had, I know there's another one around here somewhere, I think that was one, no, 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 that's that, uh, that's that pillar over there, where are these, oh, there's one right there, but it's like getting infected by the taint. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. Like, how's it even happen? Isn't this thing supposed to ward off taint and it's like casually leaking it out? Like it's nothing? Ew. Disgusting. You can like what is that noise? Is that a taint swarm? Oh it is! Oh, get out of here, you dumb taint swarm. How are you even here? How are you even here, you dumb taint swarm? Get out of here. Jeez. Is it like spawning out of this thing? I have no idea if it's spawning out of this thing or what. Fibers taint. Let's get rid of all that. I don't even know what's going on here, crusty taint. Ugh. Disgust. Got another taint swarm, really? Get out of here. Oh, it's, it's a hive. Kill the spore, spore swarmer. Kill it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. I think, oh, oh, another swarm. God, how many of these swarms are there, man? Okay, we got it. We got it. Uh, I guess I'll just send in these goo balls to the xenobiologist. Let's just do that real quick, huh? All right, so... Xenobiologist, there we go, send that in, I don't need that garbage, there you go, you can have it all, I don't even care, I have nice, that's right, hair. <laughs> Anyways, we have a few more missions that we need to do, I also got a comment saying, hey, you, you know, you've had this obsidian for quite a while, why don't you make another portal, and then you can go to the nether, kill a bunch of blazes, get the blaze rods that you need for the eye of ender and all that other garbage that you're going to need, and yeah, so I suppose I'll do that here, My, I guess we could do it now. I'm like, our armor, it's, it's about half health right now. It could be better, but <laughs> what are you going to do, right? I also got a comment saying I should make a lunch box. So let's see, lunch, oh, lunch box. Is that what we, is that like an upgraded version of the, what was that say? You just want to sneak into open, okay. Uh, two iron, so we're going to need six iron to make this thing. Ooh, how much iron do we have? I, I don't remember, I haven't played in like a week or something. Uh, oh, 12 blocks, that's nothing. Man, we can make that no problem. So, I guess if you guys want me to make a lunchbox so bad, I, I might as well do it, right? And it's, hopefully it's actually a pretty good thing to do. Uh, I assume it just holds more items than the lunch bag that we already made last episode, so let's put our extra iron up. There you go. And let's see what happens when we, oh, shift, 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 uh, oh, it's open now. So what happens? Do I just put stuff inside of it and it like auto feeds me or something? I don't know. I don't know what uh, I don't know what it does. So I suppose put some cookies in there. Okay, so it's basically the same thing as a lunch bag. It, it holds a little. It holds two food at a time. But I suppose it auto feeds you. Maybe I don't know. Monster jerky. Put that in there. Uh, the steak and the cooked chicken. Yeah, we could keep the cooked chicken. The cookies are pretty low. And the monster jerky's pretty good, not bad at all. The fish room stew, I don't even remember that. Oh, grilled eggplant, yeah, let's put that inside of there. Apple juice, yeah, might as well, right? Might as well. Ooh, hey, look at that. I don't, I don't have to eat right now, so I guess I'll just keep it in my inventory. And we just put all the extra juicy foods up inside of here. Man, we need like another fridge. Oh, man, look at that, you can see all the items in there. You can see the fried eggs, you can see the cookies, the barley, the wheat, the... What was that, mallow berries? Is that what those things are? Yeah, you can see the mallow berries in there as well. Man, there's a ton of stuff in there. Uh, did I have a chest over here? I must have broke it to replace that refrigerator, but... Uh, yeah, I guess you need a, a chest to make a fridge, so... I suppose we'll have to cut down another tree just to... Yeah, I guess so. Man, we have, like, no wood. How do we have literally no wood? I don't even know how that happens. Well, I suppose we'll go outside and cut down a little bit more of that oak that we got going on out there. And hopefully we can make a chest, go to bed, and in the morning we can make another portal just casually. Just a casual portal to the nether. Like it's nothing. I don't even know what's going to be there. I don't even know if it's going to be like a, a pre-built nether like this this planet is, or if it's just going to be some random nether and I just have to have to just find like a nether fortress to kind of explore around in, you know? Anyways, let's get ourselves another chest. Now, of course. This won't be able to interact, as far as I know, it won't be able to interact with the uh, the stove over there, or the oven, or whatever that thing is. So if we put items in this chest, like we can't just go to the stove or the oven and be like, hey, or the cooking cooking table, yeah. You can't just be like, hey, give me give me that cooked stuff, Hada. I can't just do that. So let's put all this stuff up inside there. There's melon smoothie, melons, blah blah blah. I'll probably keep a, yeah, I'll keep a little bit of eggplants in there. Eh, hamburger, might as well, right? And eggs, uh, don't we have eggs in here? We can just stack them? Yeah, a little bit, all right. 
Well, there we go. And feathers. I don't even know why I have feathers. What's in my lunch bag? Oh, a little bit of food. Nice. Okay, so just taking my lunch bag to, to, I don't know. I was about to say to work, but I literally, I'm just on a planet and I'm always working. Because I'm like, I'm, I was sent down here to explore. So anyways, let's just go to bed real quick. So it turns to daytime. And in the morning, oh yeah, you guys might have seen that I had a, a slime in a bucket selected. Or like searched. That's because I was doing like little, a little bit of research for that Thomcraft stuff. Oh, bucket of blood. Where did we get that? Oh yeah, we got that from the satanic thing from a while ago. Do we have any like empty buckets? Yeah, we do. What I want to do is apparently there's a slime. Is he underground? I don't. Oh my God, a cow died. <gasps> oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. You get injured from the uh, the iron thing. God. Uh, what well, we need to, I don't know, fence off that area in general. Either that or bring the iron berry bush or whatever that thing's called, iron ore berry bush. Bring that downstairs. Nine nuggets? Isn't there an ingot I'm working on? I guess not. Yeah, I guess bring that iron ore berry bush down here or fence off this area to make sure no animals in general can even make it down here. Uh, what are we going to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is right there. There's that slime I want to capture. I want to see if I can capture it and put it inside this bucket because apparently you can make a slime in a bucket. Oh, we did it. Oh, nice. I forgot what you need the slime in a bucket for. I know it's something for Thomcraft, but I don't remember what it was because it was like it was like yesterday I was doing a little bit of Thomcraft, a little bit of research, you know. Anyways, uh, where were we going? Oh yeah, another portal. Man, I keep on getting sidetracked as heck. What can you even use this thing for? Can it, does it even show in here? No, it, it, I guess you have to look it up in Thomcraft or whatever. Uh, what are we looking for? Obsidian. Yep, fourteen obsidian. We have enough to make another portal and have four left over to do. Pff, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with that extra obsidian, right? <laughs> Let's just put it down. Oh, taint the chicken. How's there taint the chicken down here? Whoa, murdered. Taint tendril going straight to the xenobiologist. There we go. And let's go find an area, preferably as far away as from our, uh, from our thing as possible. I guess we could put it like here-ish. And let's just put the nether portal like here. That way, whenever we're home, just at uh, Biodome Alpha, I guess you could call it. Just hanging out, you know? We don't have to worry about the... Of the nether portal just making a bunch of noise all the time, you know? Anyways, let's just build the nether portal like so. And we should have flint and steel. Like, God, why didn't I get flint and steel? I, I should have just brought that down with me. I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, uh, I don't know if we have already uh, pre-made flint and steel. If not, we can make it easy piece, no problem. There's a little bit of flint and we have some iron. Yeah. Not seeing any, f or, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any flint and steel there. So let's make one real quick. Flint and steel. There's the extra obsidian. I guess we can put that up for now. Cobblestone, dacite, and leather and beef. There we go. I guess we can go put the beef up inside the fridge. Or into the oven or something. I don't know. Let's just put it up inside the fridge. Oh, we can't even do that. Man, well, let's put it up inside uh, here. Oh, six beef. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Smelling like beef over here, huh, cow? <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs. And let's see, let's see where the, where this nether portal takes us. Does it take us to a, a special pre-built nether portal? Or like a special pre-built, oh, it doesn't even work. It doesn't even work. Does it, does it really not work? Is there, is there a special disabled nether thing that we got going on here? I'm pretty sure that's what you need. I'm what I've made nether portals since Minecraft beta. So th this is obviously what you need to make another portal and then uh, you don't need to have the corners. The corners aren't necessary. You just need to have the frame. Then you light it up. And then uh, you go to the to the nether. I guess I guess I have it disabled. That's awfully weird. Huh. There you go. Try to light it up. And well, there you go. Um is it because we're not on uh, let's let's check. C O F H. Is that on here? Yep. TPS. Are we on uh, the last millennium? Is that this planet? I don't know. What planet are we on? I don't even know how to check. I don't think this is the last millennium planet, is it? I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to guess that I'm on the overworld right now. Like, it only makes sense, right? But we can't go to the nether. Like, the only reason why we wouldn't be able to go to the nether is if we're on a, a completely different dimension, you know? Like, if we're in a, a completely different dimension, that's not the overworld. That, that That's the only way it makes sense to me. So what I'm going to do is TP, okay, I think, I think I just confirmed that we are indeed on the overworld. Okay, so, that's weird. Huh. I don't know why it was, uh, why it's not letting us go to the nether. That's, well, there goes my plans. Pfft, out the window much, jeez. <laughs> Anyways, I suppose we can just patch that back up. Let's grab a little bit of cobblestone, just, uh, do a little bit of, do a little bit of that. There you go. 
Man, that cow still looks way better. I guess maybe because it's like a 16 by 16 or uh, like a 32 by 32 texture, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, put up that extra cobbledy cobble and let's look at our quest book to see what quests we can do now. Is there anything inside of here that we have that's uh, not claimed just yet? Paranormalist. Oh, wait, we didn't even claim the reward for this. Nice. Also got a lot of comments from you guys a while ago saying that, you know, dying lowers your, your, whatever the thing is, the mission outlook, you know? Oh, wait, 11 quest. What? Unclaimed rewards. Oh, and that's just, oh, yeah, yeah because it's a supplier. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, oh, yeah, we can get, we can request platinum. We can request nickel. Tin. No, oh, that's pretty good stuff. Not going to joke around. I could really use that blaze rod. Like, oh, wait a second. Isn't there... Who was that? Uh, the geologist? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sample endstone. Yeah, this guy wanted endstone. And, you know, we found endstone down there. So let's go back down in that cave. Yeah, we have 18 endstone right now. Ooh, hold the phone. You know what? We have... We have a lot of iron. You guys saw that earlier. Why don't we take four iron... And how about we make ourselves, that's right, a tool fort so we can finally make an iron hammer or whatever other materials that we might want to use. And it'll be super dank for mining and stuff like that, you know? You'll be able to mine out a 3x3 three three area and it's going to be super useful. Anyways, what we need is those little, are they over here? Did I leave them over here? Yeah, there you go. Blank patterns. I don't know which one you need. I think it's like the one with the, the crafting table on it. So let's, uh, yeah, I'm going to need another blank table. Uh, blank pattern if that's the case yeah let's grab another one of those and i've got i'm going to need to either i don't know i know it's this one tool station i'm going to have to make a tool station but uh, i guess i go outside casually let's see what happens lunchbox did that do anything did i just like did i automatically eat out of there oh whoa, whoa, whoa. oh nice i can literally stuff my face with the lunchbox itself and i guess it just picks a food and and, and yeah, let's look at the lunchbox. Let's, let's look at this. How do I how do I open that up again? Uh, oh, there. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It's like eating. Oh, that's so useful. Nice. Not bad at all. Let's grab a little bit more of this wood. Let's just grab a decent amount. Just so we don't have to come back here later, you know? There you go. All right, well, uh, did I? Oh, yep, I picked it up. Nice. A little bit of tomatoes, a little bit of uh, eggplants there, but we don't really need those. Right? Oh, the apples are ready to be harvested. Hmm, what are you doing there, cow? You're just floating on the edge, the very edge of a watermelon right there. <laughs> All right, well, let's turn this into a crafting station. Hopefully I got this one right. And then we do a little bit of this and we're gonna need those uh, those seared bricks. And I think we have extra, so yeah, we have an absolute ton. Woo. All right, let's go make this tool forge. There we go. I only know that's how you make it because I literally just made one in yesterday's Star Wars episode, so <laughs> that's the only reason why I know that. Anyways, do how much gold do we have? Uh, two things. Like, oh yeah, we have gold ore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's the reason why I've, I've been getting these uh, ore berry bushes to get that extra iron out of here. How many nuggets do we have now? Because I want to go through that gold inside of here without a... Ooh, we need three more nuggets, so three more ore berries and we'll be good to go. Do, wait, do we have iron nuggets over here? I think we did, right? Let me just throw in there. I might have already, yeah, I think I already threw iron nuggets in there. Ooh, ouch. Sour. Anyways, uh, where can we put this thing? I don't know. I kind of want to put it up here where all the other tinker table stuff are, you know? Let me get rid of this. Can I get rid of this without cutting down the whole tree? Ooh, man, my heart almost stopped right there. <laughs> Anyways, now we can make pretty much anything that we want. You know, especially higher grade stuff like iron tools and whatnot. So what we need to do is, I guess... Oh, hey, how's it going there? A little, uh... Oh, yeah, I got the name wrong on that dog. I think I called it, what was it, Comet? And apparently his name's actually Cosmo, so sorry about that. We're gonna be calling that doggy little doggy poo Cosmo instead of Cot Comet, I think I called it. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, yeah, we could probably pour the... I don't know. I just... Yeah, we could pour it inside there. Yeah, we have a lot of tables here. And if we have any extra iron, of course we could just use it later, you know? Anyways, we're gonna need to make ourselves a steel or a... I think we already have those plates, right? Didn't we already make them like a while ago and we just never used them? Alright, looks like a little bit of iron is done. So we have six six ingots inside there. So let's, uh, yeah, well, there you go. There's a little bit of that pouring inside of there. Man, that's an absolute ton. What was that, a block? What is this thing? Is this the blade? Yeah, that's the blade. Yeah, that's... Oh, man, that's expensive as heck. There we go, got that filled up. How much do we have inside here now? Seven ingots. Man, well, there's the blade. Here's the hammerhead. I don't even know if we have enough for that. Yeah, we don't even have enough, right? Just put a couple more casual blocks of iron in there and we'll be good to go. Gee. <laughs> well, another block. Oh, can I not? Oh, there you go. Nice. 
Now we have three blocks of iron. Ooh, yeah, this is getting really expensive. Ouch. Well, I think what I'm going to do is keep on uh, casting the rest of the parts, and I'll see you guys here in a second, where we can actually build the tools, the, uh, the cleaver and the hammer and the excavator which are going to be absolutely fantastic all right guys so i'm back and we have the iron hammer and the iron excavator but the only thing is that we don't have the iron uh cleaver that's because we ran out of iron we need like another block block and a half or something because apparently it needs two that's right two tool rods or Whatever those those handle things are. It needs two of those tool rods and like a metal plate, like a heavy plate or whatever it's called. So it was a lot more expensive than I remember it being, you know? So suppose we'll just go downstairs down here, get ourselves the end stone, send it to the engineer, and sort of like the, what was his name? I don't even, maybe, it, no, it wasn't the engineer. It was the, it was the rock guy, the geologist, right? Yeah, the geologist. I don't know why you called him the engineer there. Jeez. Anyways, let's go down. Oh, almost just fell to my death. Okay, where was that? I don't think it was this deep, was it? I don't think it was. I don't remember it being this deep. Let's go back up. <laughs> I don't remember it being this deep, but the fantastic thing is, if you guys have never seen, like, a hammer or an excavator... Oh, yeah, here it is, over here. Oh, no, it was over here. Yeah, this way. Uh, if you guys have never seen a hammer or an excavator in action, we'll... Let's do a little bit of this. And there you go. Three by three area broken instantly. Easy peasy, no problem. Anyways, let's uh, pillow ourselves up using the blocks that we literally just broke. And let's get some of this end stone. Because we're going to need this end stone for that geologist mission. He wants a whole stack of end stone, so I suppose that's what this is for. I, I suppose it wasn't actually supposed to be an end portal, per se. Maybe it was just a little deposit, a casual deposit of end stone just randomly out there. Just so we can get enough of this for the geologist. Now, it would have been really cool if it was like a hidden, it was, if it was actually a hidden end portal right there. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that hidden, right? Like, I, it was clear as day on the roof. If you had like, a torch, I didn't even have a torch down here, I saw it, but it was so clear. Okay, we don't quite have the, the stack that he wants, so let's do a little bit of this parkour action. Let's go up a little bit higher, there you go. And let's do a little bit more hammer action, huh? Hammer time! Ha <laughs> ha! Stop! Hammer time. There you go. All right, so we should have... Yeah, there should be enough right here, no problem. There's a little bit of, like, fire shards or whatever. Comatite and Fusculium ore. Let's grab some of that, might as well, right? A little more, a little bit more of that Prometheum. I guess we could uh, submit a little bit more Prometheum to the black market if we felt like it, but... Eh, not really feeling it right now. Either way, yeah, there you go. We just send it to the geologist right now. Let's do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. And let's see, what, what are we going... Oh, 12 mission outlook. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's see what he has to say about it first. Scanners are showing some amount of endstone under the eerie island Rushton sent you to. I'd love to see if it's any different from the endstone we uncovered in Homeworld's end dimension. Could you grab some samples? Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. Hey, there you go. There's a casual stack of casuality. Hey, there you go. Plus 12 mission outlook. So let's, let's try not to die. That'd be great, right? How do we go to the nether? We need a stack of... How do we go to the nether? Is there a spit? Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 there's... There's netherite by the volcano, right? Let, let's see what this guy has to say first. My goodness, there's so much undiscovered metal in the netherrack under the volcano that I don't even know where to start. Actually, that's a lie. I have the perfect idea. There should be some trace fragments of all the metals in the netherrack. If you can get enough of it, I should be able to catalog what metals are available and then send you to find samples. Thank you for your work. Hey, that's pretty good. So I guess we go to the volcano. Oh, that's pretty exciting. I haven't been in the volcano in a while. <laughs> Especially now that we have, a, I'd say, a pretty good amount of stuff. Not, not going to joke around here. Like, last time we went to the volcano was the, the scout mission. All we did was like, eh, there's a volcano here. Here's a, here's a random bush that apparently has, like, tasty berries or whatever. <laughs> so, well, yeah, let's go back to the volcano. Very excited for that. Anyways, open up the lunchbox. Shift click. And just eat. God, I love this lunchbox. Thank you guys are all very much for coming. You guys are, like, the best for suggesting things and because I'm, I'm sure you guys all know that I am completely clueless to like a pretty good majority of the mods in this mod pack so it's always nice to just read your guys' comments giving me juicy tips and whatnot and I, I, I just want you guys to know that I always read the comments and read those fantastic suggestions anyways get a little bit more food let's actually check how much food do we have in here yeah put a little bit more of those grilled eggplants don't want to put too much in there or else the eggplants will lose their uh their I guess effectiveness, if you want to call it that. I know that grilled or uh, baked potatoes, yeah, baked potatoes are still pretty good. So, and we do still have that lunch, 
lunch sack or whatever. Yeah, we already have baked potatoes there. And we have one monster jerky we can put inside of here. There you go. Yeah, I'm loving this thing. It's fantastic. It's just like McDonald's. But da 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 I'm loving it. Man, how stereotypical is that for me, an American, to make a McDonald's theme song right there, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go, uh, yeah, I guess we can go to bed real quick. Alright, mind all that cheating that happened up there, I just wanted to make sure that we can actually go to the nether or not. So, oof, ignore all that. <laughs> or if we were actually in the overworld, I meant. <laughs> Obviously, oh, well, that tree actually grew- oh no, it's getting tatified. What's happening? Is it because I put it too close to the- to the edge? It shouldn't be that- like, right? Like, I put this one pretty close to- I'm pretty sure I put this one on the edge. And it seems to be working just fine. Oh, wow, there's like, tank growing right, right here. Don't we have an extra... ethereal bloom, though? I think we do. Yeah, let's go back and let's go put another- yeah, there's a little bit of taint right there. It's just a small little trace of mount, but still it's visible. Like, why is it- why do those trees keep getting tainted? I don't know. I think if we want to plant some more of those things, how- do, do we even have any saplings for those? Uh... I think I might have used them all. Ooh. Okay, well, we do have one more sapling out there that isn't grown, so... Uh, what was I gonna do? Uh... Oh yeah, Ethereal Bloom. Didn't I have it? Yeah, there it is right there. Let's go grab that other one that hasn't grown. I think it's like... No, no, that one's grown. And... Yeah, oh wait. Is that, uh... Oh yeah, yeah, that one isn't grown yet. Oh, let's go take it out of the ground and move it back a little bit, right? <laughs> let's go do that. Jeez. Anyways, place down the Ethereal... Oh yeah, over here. There's just a gigantic random patch of taint here in the middle. Gotta get rid of this, right? Fibrous taint, put that about here. There you go. What if we put the fibers? Yeah, what if we move this forward? So it would help get rid of all the taint next to it, right? Would that help? Hopefully, what? Get rid of that fibrous taint. There you go. <laughs> go on, save the tree. Save the tree, everyone. Let it, let it at least have a chance to work as badger. What did I just say right there? Pat Patcher? I tried to say magical powers all in one word. <laughs> Anyways, let's head back to the teleporter thing and let's go teleport to the volcano and hopefully... Oh yeah, that plant. Yeah, got it. I literally went over here specifically to move that plant and we didn't even do that. Jeez. <laughs> oh yeah, we might as well move these other ethereal blooms that are nearby too. Might as well, right? Yeah, let's put that one about right there. And this other ethereal bloom, I guess we could put it like really close to the plant, you know? And move this one back to about... Eh. Eh, uh, here-ish, and we can probably use, that's right, the excavator to get rid of this extra grass right here. There we go. Alright, so, god, I need to spread this out a lot more, but, eh, what are you going to do? God, that tree's completely, god, oh, there it goes, whoops. <laughs> gone forever, just like Shayla. Oof. Anyways, let's go to the teleporter inside before it already goes back to nighttime again, and we keep on procrastinating like it's nothing. <laughs> hey, how's it going, cow? You better get out of the way. There we go, let's go to the, yeah, let's just... Called volcano. I thought it was like some other fancy nancy name, but I guess not. Anyways, he said it was under. The, oh well, there's an ethereal bloom right there. I'll be grabbing you. And another. No, that's a shimmer leaf. Okay, well, we definitely need to. Yeah, I still need to do that thawcraft stuff to where we could turn uh, shimmer leaves into ethereal. If we could do that, we would. Whew, we would have so so. Oh, there's another one of those plants right here. Stingberry bush. Buzz buzz. Right. Well, yeah, we'd have so much area. Detaintified, I guess you could call it. Now he did say there was netherrack under the volcano. Is that is that even is that a thing? Is it is it a thing? I don't know. Oh, lunchbox time. Taking myself a lunch break. Going to be climbing off this mountain. Whew. There you go. I guess we could just dig into the or yeah, dig into the mountain a little bit, especially because we do have that's right the right tools for it. Hammer time. <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. Oh, it's soapstone. Ugh. At least I can get nice and clean inside here, right? Get rid of that gravel and completely bypass all that. <laughs> he did say it was in the volcano. Maybe it's under the vo Oh, whoa. Minimap's like, oh yeah, wow. Maybe we need to go a little bit deeper. We need to go deeper. Let's go deeper, shall we? <laughs> let's go down here. Yeah, let's, like, let's make a casual staircase using this hammer, right? <laughs> get rid of all this gravel. Man, look at how easy it is. Like... I, I, I'm so glad that everyone told me to make a hammer and excavator and all that stuff back in End of Earth and like a, a cleaver too. Because apparently the damage on this thing is absolutely insane. Oh, well, I don't even have it yet, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. But still, it's, an, it's absolutely insane. No jokeroo. Anyways, get rid of this extra gravel and let's keep on digging down. Hopefully, we don't actually run into the lava itself here. Oh, yeah, we should be. But somehow we're not. Because we're like directly under it. Where is. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, e yep, yep. Man, I'm turning into an Ewok every day that passes by. Man, 
So I guess this is just a random deposit of netherrack here. And I'm sure everyone knows, but netherrack breaks so quickly. So I'm glad to be using the hammer to break this stuff because it just breaks it that much faster. So he said he wanted a stack. How much do we have right now? This has got to be a stack or close to it, right? And so far, I'm pretty sure this is all just straight netherrack. No, no netherrack ores. So at least that makes sense. Like we couldn't even go to the nether, let alone <laughs> get a little bit of netherrack unless we came here to this volcano. Mainly submit, there you go, got a full stack, how much is that? Plus six mission outlook, good stuff.